go! That was a freaking awesome game. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's break this shit down, all right? That was an exciting freaking hockey game. <laughs> let's, um... Oh, that was so exciting. All right, before I get into my my personal thoughts, um, let's break down the stats, all right? Let's look at the numbers, all right? All right, okay. Okay, so, shots on goal. Winnipeg had 47, we had 32. Face-off percentage, Winnipeg had 53, we had 47. They were one for five of the power play. Hell of a period carry by the boys. And the Rangers were one for two. Actually, on the, we probably could have gone two for two. Um, you know, if the, if the power play would have been, what, 25 seconds longer, technically we're two for two, but whatever. Um, they out hit us 31 to 24. We out blocked them 18 to 10, but we had 24 giveaways. They had 11. Granted, uh, the Ranger, we're playing against, look, the Winnipeg Jets are a freaking hell of a team. What a wagon of a team. They were, uh, that, that's a good hockey team. The Jets are, I don't care what anyone said. They're going to be pretty scary this year. Uh, I'm not saying we got lucky because we played a good game, but damn, that freaking Nikolai Ehlers had a game. The kid had three helpers. Wheeler had two goals, but I, I don't know how Wheeler got the third star of the game and not Nikolai Ehlers. I mean, Ehlers was all over the ice. He whew, he had a game. Um, we don't really care about the Winnipeg Jets stats. Um, I guess the only one people would really care about is that their second leading defenseman in ice time was Neil Pionk with 23-13. Morrissey played 24-21. Um uh, Neil Pionk getting shorthanded time. We didn't see that a lot in New York. Good for him. He he don't he looked good out there. Good for Neil Pionk. I, I don't I don't dislike Neil Pionk at all. Let's get into the Ranger stats. So our Timmy Panarin a goal, a helper, and a plus three. One shot on goal. He's got a hundred shooting percentage in a Rangers uniform. Keep the change. Uh, yes, I listened to Spit Chicklets. One giveaway, one takeaway. Who cares? Uh, Stromer had two giveaways, four pims, uh, minus one. I almost want to guarantee you that if you remember what I said in the last video. Anderson's going to be the second line center next game. Next game. I, I don't – look, Capo Caco I, – I, someone posted on Twitter. Um, it slips my mind who it was. But in order for that second line to, you know, thrive, Capo Caco again, like I said in my other video, Caco's going to have to carry that line. When Ryan Strom is the center, he's not going to be able to do that. Someone has got to be able to get him the puck. I think Leah Sanderson can do that because he's such a banger down low. Um, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, yes, Foss had a helper. Uh, Kreider had a helper. Howden, what our goal in front of the net? I gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, Kako, three shots on goal, minus one and a takeaway. He played 15 minutes. He had a good game. Is You really couldn't ask for much more. It's his NHL debut. Here's what upset me the most. The least amount of ice time was allocated to Leas Anderson with eight minutes and 33 seconds played. Yet, in my opinion, he was one of our better forwards. And by better forwards, I mean in the top six. Um, I think... Panarin was the best. Uh, I think I think Zibanejad was the best forward. Panarin was the second best. Uh, tonight, I'm going to give Foss the third best. Fourth best, I'll... Fuck it, actually. Fourth best, I'll give it to Elias. I mean, Elias looked awesome when he was playing. Howden looked freaking awesome. Kreid's looked all right. He had a couple moments. But yeah, I don't know. I, I thought Elias... I th thought Elias should have gotten a lot more ice time than he did. And I I think he should be the second line center next game. Why the hell not? Uh, whew, excuse me, boy. Um, yeah, uh, Lemieux had a couple hits. Yeah, four hits. Uh, Buknevich, uh, no points. Um, but he had a pretty good game. I like I like what I saw of Buknevich. I think um, a couple of those Panarin passes were catching Buknevich off guard. I really didn't think he was gonna get those passes. But nonetheless, I like that first line. I like that Buknevich is doing a lot more banging than he did before. Um, mucking in the corner. I mean, damn it, has this kid gotten stronger? I mean, when Buknevich first entered the league, was it four years ago now? I, he was getting tossed around pretty easy. I mean, he was a light kid. He was like 165 when he first came into the league, and he was getting knocked over. Like he was falling on his feet. Now he's knocking guys on their ass. So I'd like to see that in him. Thought Nemestikov had a pretty strong game. I liked him on the penalty kill. He worked his ass off. Mika's advantage had a goal, three helpers, seven shots on goal, a hit, two blocks, and three takeaways. Played 20 minutes and 28 seconds. The kid was buzzing. Uh, yeah. Zibanejad was heads and tails, the Rangers' best best forward tonight. Jacob Trouba on the back end, a goal and two helpers. Three shots on goal, five hits, two blocks. He had four giveaways, but a takeaway. Uh, and he led all Rangers in ice time with 24-26. I'm not going to read into the four giveaways. Um, he played a good game. I, I'm not going to sit here and worry about that. Mark Stoll, the guy that opened the scoring. Three shots on goal and four hits. And two takeaways and one giveaway for Mark Stoll. He was buzzing. 21-30 played for Mark Stoll tonight. Hey, if he keeps playing like this, he'll be a second pair in defense before you know it. Um, I thought Foxy had a good game. Uh, he didn't get a whole lot of ice time. He played 12-24. Uh, 
first game in the NHL, same thing with Libor Hayek. They, you could see the last seven or eight minutes in the third period, Fox and Hayek at that point were done. Q, uh, Quinn rolled Truba. Truba Shea, D'Angelo, uh, Stoll, and he dropped Smith back to the point. Uh, and, they were, you know, he, he, we were, we're, you know, we're playing to win. I mean, as much as you want these kids to develop that late in the game, it's about winning the game. Uh, I thought, now, with that being said, I thought Fox had an all-around really good game. Uh, I thought Libra Hayek had a – he had one play that almost resulted in a goal that was pretty hard to watch. But Kid Young, he got uh, he actually got his first career assist tonight. The assist on Zabanajet's goal was his first career helper. Um, I, I mean, yeah, they had a good game. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and complain about anything. Uh, there were a couple of goal, man, my, my dad says it all the time. And I, I picked up on it a couple of seasons ago. Can the Rangers ever score a goal and like hold that goal for like more than two minutes? Like, I feel like every time the Rangers score within, by the next puck drop, I mean, the other team is just buzzing in our zone. I mean, whew, always happens. Um, Couple weak goals given up by Lundqvist, but overall, a really, really solid game. The guy made 43 saves. He had a 91.5 save percentage. Pretty good game uh, for Henrik Lundqvist. Um, the last couple stats here uh, Smithy with the empty net goal. I take back what I said about him yesterday in my video. Um, hey, he made me eat my words. He had a really good first game, and I hope that we see him dressed in the, in the second game of the season on uh, Saturday against Ottawa. Because uh, Smith had a freaking awesome game. Let's well, let's keep let's keep seeing him. Let's roll it. If it's work, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, Shea had a helper, and D'Angelo had a helper. One thing I will say, um, I like the Shea and Trouba pair, but uh, I think I think we should spread them out. I think you should go. I think you should go Trouba uh, Stall. Uh, people are gonna write me for this. Stall Trouba Shea and D'Angelo. And the reason I say that is because something about. Truba and Shea, not that they don't work well together, but I feel like there's a lot of chances against them when they're on the ice. Um, and, and Mark Stoll being a way more stay-at-home defenseman than and Brady Shea. And this isn't a knock on Brady Shea, but it might just be a little bit better for the if the Rangers' top pair was strictly, strictly shut down pair. And if you put Stoll there in, in place of Brady Shea, then it is strictly shut down. And it's, it's for the sole purpose of Mark Stoll's really not going to take that many offensive chances. Uh, he's not going to take as many offensive chances as Brady Shea's going to. Shea likes to skate with the, uh, skate with the shit. Shea likes to skate with the puck. Say that three times fast. And it's not a knock on his game. That's how he plays the game, and he's, he does pretty well of doing that. In, in doing that, but your top pair defense, you want you want it to kind of be your shutdown uh, your shutdown pair to sh you know to stop the other lines. You know, uh, and Truber and Shea are both out there against Wheeler. Line A and and friggin Shifley. I mean, it's a it's a problem. Or or Ehlers instead of instead of Line A. Not that they're not capable of defending that, but I think if you're if you're looking just to shut people down five on five, I would put Stall in place of Shea. Now, if you're looking about just having a balanced lineup, well, actually no. If you're looking for a balanced lineup, then you want to split them up even more. Um, and I think Shea and D'Angelo would be a pretty fun pair to watch. I mean, you get two great skating defensemen um, that aren't afraid to jump into the rush, but Brady Shea and Tony D'Angelo, to their own rights, are pretty sound defensively. Tony D'Angelo is surprising a lot of people. I thought he was our best defenseman last season. I think he's going to be hard-pressed to do that this season with the likes of Truba in the lineup, but um, but freaking D'Angelo's awesome, man. I, I like to see that. I wouldn't mind seeing that for a little bit, a little Shea D'Angelo and, and Truba stall. Why not? I mean, Hayek and Fox, I think it's a good pair. I think the longer they play together, obviously they're going to mesh. They're young, and um, they look better as the game you know carried on. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. That's just my two sides. I'm not complaining about anything. We freaking won. I have I have nothing negative to say, really. I mean, we we won the freaking game. Let's go, you know. I, you know I'll, I'll, I'll give my little critiques or whatever, but what the hell do I know? We won a freaking hockey game. That is it. And before someone berates me in the comments, because I know that, that'll come. It's the first game of the season. This video is bound to get a decent amount of views. There's going to be some asshole out there like, Mike, you said this. Blah, 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 blah. Piss off. The Rangers won. Let's go Rangers. We're all Rangers fans here. Come on. Um, but my overall summary of the game, I mean, am I, am I, I'm trying to think what, what else could I say. I could talk about individuals. Kako Kako had a pretty good game. I mean, you really – we shouldn't expect Kako to jump right in and have 40 goals, you know. We, we He played a good game. He had a couple opportunities. He had a couple rushes that were freaking awesome. Um, was it Fitz that posted it on Twitter saying – or someone said on Twitter, I mean, he always beats the first man. Every time he has the puck, he's always getting around the first man. And getting around that second and third man is something that we're going to see as the season goes on. I mean, he looked freaking awesome tonight. Uh, especially considering his alignments. It's not a knock on Kreider and Schroen, but they're, they're not on the same 
hockey IQ level as Kapo Kako is. It's crazy that we can even say that about an 18 year old, but it, it, that's that's the fact, Jack. I mean, the, the kid has hockey IQ well beyond his years, and damn, I mean, I, I hope I, I only wish that Kyle experiment at center worked out. Hedl. Hedl experiment at center worked out because Hedl has a high hockey IQ as well, and I feel like him and Kako would work really well together online, but. Let 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 Heedle, um mature a little bit in the minors. Give him a couple weeks down there. He's gonna come up buzzing. Uh, if anyone didn't watch the Rangers roundtable, they posted on YouTube. DQ even said the coaches were saying Heedle and Krasil came down and they were buzzing in the AHL practices. So hey, if it works, it works. Um, you know what? That's all I gotta say now. I'm not I'm not gonna get too into into this um, little review. Uh, I more so kind of want to see what you guys are what you, what you guys have to say. What you guys think? Comment down below. I'll try to respond. I'll reply to all your comments and. Um, Hey, let's go Rangers. We're 1 0. I mean, let's do this. We're on pace. We're undefeated season. Uh, oh, voice crack. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment below. Um, thank you for watching the video. And if you're interested in the video, I do not need hearing aids. That was pretty good, right? I'll see you on the next one. Peace.